What's up, guys? <clears throat> we have another William Henry here. I've done a couple of William Henry knives before, and I will link to them down below and up in the corner towards the end of the video where I go into more detail about William Henry. So rather than go over all of that same stuff again here, let's just talk about this very cool knife. This is the B12 Tad design, the triple aught design knife. Um, very cool, small for sure. Loaned in from Alex over at the Watch and Cut channel. Link to his channel will be down below. Okay. So I will put all the specs down below also, rather than ramble on about the stuff that you can really find on the websites and whatnot. And we'll just talk about the knife itself. So it is a titanium frame with a button lock, green canvas micarta inlays, really nicely done pocket clip with an interesting attachment. I, you don't normally see two screws attached to the top like that. So I'm assuming, yeah, I'm sure you could flip this around for left or right-handed. set up for right-handed right now, but I'm sure you could take these two screws out Literally just rotate the clip around 180 degrees and put it back in for you left-handed guys. There is only one thumb stud, so that may make it a little difficult if you're a left-handed guy. And the button lock is only on, you know, it's really set up for a right-handed person. All right, we'll just leave it at that. Very cool blade. It is a Sanmai blade. You can kind of see right about here. Just above my finger, you can see there's a line. That's the Sanmai. So it is ZDP 189 on the cutting edge with a Rockwell hardness of 67. So this is going to hold its edge. This is going to be a user, albeit a fancy one. It's done really well. The fit and finish is superb. You cannot feel maybe with a fingernail yeah with a nail you can feel the transition between the micarta and the titanium but you cannot feel that with your finger at all it's done really really well some smoky quartz inlays on the button lock and the thumb stud just really a pretty knife um, runs on washers so it doesn't give you that drop shut it, I wished it was a little more drop shut. Now, you know I don't like the guillotine drop shut, but if it would close on its own, that would be nice. But you have to get it started, which is okay. I mean, it feels good in the hand. It's a little small, right? It is a smaller knife. Overall is just under seven inches to give you an idea. And we'll do some size comparisons here in just a second as well. Um... But it's small in this dimension also, so it doesn't really feel fill the hand, and it does feel a little bit small. But again, it's a small knife. You're not going to be doing hard use tasks with this, so you don't need to get a really strong grip for most of the work that you're going to do with this knife. So let's do a couple of size comparisons here to give you an idea. Let's go with the double A battery and the D cell battery. So this knife is really light also. We'll talk about that too. It's 1.8 ounces where the interface here is 1.6. So it's encroaching on the interface weight light, you know, lightweight division, ultra lightweight division, if you will. Um, but if the interface was the same size, it'd probably be under an ounce. I'm guessing. So while it is a contender in the ultra lightweight category, eh, it doesn't really push off the interface yet. Here it is with the Sharpie. You saw next to the interface, how about a Spyderco Delica? About the same size as the Delica. What does the Delica weigh? Just to get an idea. 2.3 ounces. So you're at 2.3 ounces for the Delica and 1.8 ounces 
for the William Henry. And this is all FRN and titanium and micarta. So they do some good stuff. There is some internal milling. It's hard to see. It's a couple of spots uh, up here at the bolsters. They've got some heavy milling there to help with the weight. Do they have any milling back here? And some milling back here on this side too. So the bolsters are milled out to give it that weight savings. So it's a very cool knife. Alex, thanks for sending that in. Please go check out this William Henry video to get more details about the company.